This old Sheila, not that old Sheila, <laughs> that old woman, that old black woman who had the genius to take a handful of seed and think about it, wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to grind that, see what happens. She grinds it, she gets flour, and then she says, I'm going to mix that with water, see what happens. And now I'm going to put it on the fire, see what happens. She made bread, that woman, that genius. And we don't celebrate her at all in this country, and we should, because these grasses that these people are using are perennial. Their root mass is fantastic compared to what you see above the soil. What is it, seven, eight, nine times below the soil? And uh, for a country that is desperately trying to find a way of reducing carbon emissions, these are plants that are going to be serious. People are going to make a lot of money and be going down to you know, new car places and buying Mercedes Benz on the, on the back of Australian Aboriginal domesticated grains because you'll be getting benefits, uh, carbon benefits in the future for these kind of plants. So I, I really hope that when that happens and you're driving your Mercedes out of the Benzal uh, shop that you remember where it came from, where that knowledge came from. <coughs>